There is no greater challenge in sports than competing in an Ironman triathlon. A 2.4 mile swim, 112 mile bike, and a 26.2 mile marathon. The majority of athletes that choose to undertake these monumental competitions are not professionals. They are age group athletes. They come from every corner of the globe and every walk of life. The Ironman World Championship in Kona, Hawaii. This is where the sport was born. Athletes can't just sign up and compete. They must earn a spot at one of a handful of qualifying events held around the world. You are an Ironman! A select cast of age group athletes has been chosen to share their journey to Kona. From early training all the way through their qualifying race, they will attempt to get to the World Championship on the Big Island of Hawaii. Some will make their Kona dream come true, and some will not. This is the story of commitment. This is my quest for Kona. Perseverance. This is my quest for Kona. Pain. This is my quest for Kona. Passion. This is my quest for Kona. And joy that these athletes share. This is my quest for Kona. In their quest for Kona. So ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 2017 Washa Bank Ironman 70.3 Chuching. Try not to think too much about uh, qualifying for Kona or uh, about the expectation of my friends and family. You have people, you know, from all walks of life and all of them have their own reasons to be there. Whether they, they're dead as a pro to try and win it or, you know, just age groupers, they just want to finish the race, so everybody's there for their own reason. The energy from the crowd all on your left, on your right, in front of you is, is it's a lot of energy. I, I try to draw the energy from them and you know use it in a positive way to propel myself to have a strong race. <laughs> My name is uh, Rupert Chen. I'm from uh, Serdang, Malaysia, but uh, I'm from uh, Chinese descent. Chinese people. Traditionally, they always want to have a safer lifestyle for their children or for the family. So the uh, culture for you know upbringing for the kids is always the parents. They want to see the children go to a good college and then um, have a very good stable job. You know, so that's a general expectation for a Chinese family. I was on that path. I was an engineer for six, seven years, but eventually as I, I just couldn't uh, imagine my life going on that path because it was really it's very boring. <laughs> and, uh, you know, uh, I think we only live life once and I think I should live it to the fullest and do what I really love to do instead of just following the expectations of, uh, you know, the family or the culture. <laughs> I think my mom has always been my uh, biggest supporter, of course. <laughs> All mom thinks their kids are the greatest. <laughs> but my mom, she's been so, so supportive. I'm training very, very hard to be as fast as I could. But my mom always, uh, she, she always tell, oh, you're going out for cycling, please ride slowly, yeah? I'm like, mom, I'm training as hard as I could be, so I could be as fast as I can. And she's like, no, no, please, safety first, ride slowly. It's always safety first, I told him. Our whole family, even his father also, is, he said, OK, but safety first, be careful. That's all. That's my mom. I'm always so concerned about my safety. <laughs> Rupert has completed three Ironman competitions and dozens of Ironman 70.3 races. An Ironman 70.3 is half the distance of a full Ironman race. So I will be racing at 70.3 Kuching in China. So my aim is actually to be in the top three to have a chance to qualify for Kona this year. I am 35 years old this year, so I will be racing in the 35 to 39 year old age group. 
which has traditionally been the strongest age group among all and with the most participants. So the level is going to be very, very high. This is what he's working for, working, training so hard, aiming for that. Of course, we will always give him all the support to do his best to gain a spot to go to Kona. Come, let's do some drills. I'm a triathlon coach uh, based here in Malaysia. I love coaching. I, I love seeing the, the students improve. It, it's just to see them improve is a big motivation for me. So the Chewbacca Factor is uh, it came out from this uh, pro triathlete, uh, Jesse Thomas. So he was um, doing a wind tunnel testing on the bicycle to see how much difference you can save on different kind of bottles, different kind of helmets, different kind of uh, wheels. And then after that, he said he decided, okay, why don't let's just try how much wattage we can save by shaving our legs. So then he, he did one with and then he shaved and then he did one without and he said that the, there was a power wattage saving of 15 watts just by shaving alone. Alright, so I'm supposed to hold this. Yeah, scratch. So when uh, too yeah. much pain. Pain, then you can scratch. Okay. Yeah. So then I decided, okay, why don't I try uh, waxing it? And yeah. <laughs> yeah, it does feel like a big piece. So maybe I take a brief. <laughs> it's very, very painful. But I think they do a much better job than what I do. It's much cleaner. Yeah, sacrifice. It's a lot of pain. Really a lot of pain when they, they, they wax me. It's a good pain. Pain is temporary. Kona is forever. <laughs> a lot of people, uh, they would like be like, ah, really? Uh, Try the long coach. It's really what you do, and you know, can you really earn a living? For for me as a coach, though it doesn't pay as well as my previous job as an engineer. As long as I'm doing something I'm passionate about, I think I'm more than happy and contented with that. You know, it's what I love to do, so I just keep doing it. Quest for Kona is presented by Cliff, the official sports nutrition partner of the Ironman North American Series. So my passion is uh, triathlon. My dream since I started it is always to qualify for Kona. Kona is the Olympics of uh, long distance uh, triathlon. So to, to be able to qualify for it is the uh, highest that I can achieve as a long distance triathlete. It will be very, very tough, very competitive. I, I think realistically I have about maybe about 20% chance of qualifying. I've been watching the, uh, the, the videos and every time I watch it, it's so motivating to me. I feel as if I'm there and I get very excited and it has always been my dream, you know, to race against the best and to race, you know, on the lava fields and to swim at uh, Hawaii corner. It's just, uh, you know, after watching the video, I really, really want to be there. So I will be attempting to qualify for Ironman Hawaii 2017 at 70.3 Kuching, China. First thing is uh, normally when we, we, we go down to the uh, race uh, venue, you have to register athlete check-in first. And then uh, they will give you uh, two bags normally. That's the transition one bag. So that bag is where you put all your stuff that you need for your bike. For example, helmets or cycling shoes, you put it in there. And then you have a transition to bag, which is from your bike to run bag. For example, your running shoes, socks. Yeah, so it, it, it takes some planning. It can be a bit of a big task for a beginner. But once you do it a few times, you know what to do. Welcome to the 2017 Plus 
South Bank. Iron Man 70.3 Chu Ching. It is great to be with you today. We have a great race ahead of us with qualifying slots to the World Championship coming up in seven weeks time in Kona. Race morning, I will go down to the race venue and you see a lot of athletes there. I get excited when I see other athletes as well. Everybody's excited and you can feel the energy rising. Uh, once you're there, you feel, uh, oh, oh, okay, this is it, this is it, this is the big day. And it, it can be very exciting, So, but I, I try to stay calm, save my energy, don't get too caught up in the moment. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's just amazing. You can't explain the, the, the feeling of being in the actual race site with all the athletes, with the pros around you. Everybody's just pumped up. The first thing is I will quickly go down to my uh, bike. I will pump up the tyre pressures. If it looks like it's going to be a dry day, I'll pump it to a bit higher, about 120 psi. Or if it's a wet, rainy day, I will pump it less, slightly less pressure because uh, I want it to be a bit softer to take the grip during the ride. I will test all my gears, I will test my uh, bike computer to make sure everything, all the data is there. All my heart rate, my speedometer, my cadence is working, my power meter is working. All right, all set. Our age group is getting underway as they vie for the finish line, dragging rides and also the qualifying spots to the Ironman World Championship. Once the gun goes off, you know, I know I have to do my job. I'll just try to stay as relaxed as I can. I'll just jump in because it's a rolling start. I try not to go crazy. Try to sit on somebody's feet and uh, to go as fast as I can while saving as much energy. Rupert's goal is to achieve one of the three qualifying spots to the Ironman World Championship in Kona this October. But now, the waters of the Kujin Triathlon Sports Park have his full attention, along with just under 500 athletes all searching for greatness here in China. There are just under 500 athletes competing here in the Ironman 70.3 Guijing. All of them are fighting through the swim here in China, hoping to secure one of the 30 qualifying spots being offered for the Ironman World Championship in Kona, Hawaii this October. One of those athletes is Malaysian Rupert Chen. I'm a pretty good uh, open water swimmer. My sightings is good and I swim in a pretty straight line. So the, the key for me, I think, which will make my swim fast or not will be depends on who I manage to sit on, on their feet. I need to find a swimmer that is just slightly faster than me. If I don't find that swimmer, then I, I'm on my own and I'm going to use way more energy. If I can swim in a pack, the, the pace is just perfect for my race, then that will help a lot. The target is hopefully to go 30 minutes and below. Hopefully I can uh, be faster this time around. Rupert is out of the water in a time of 33.32, just three and a half minutes off his target time. He's in sixth place in his age group, and only the top three finishers will qualify for Kona. Rupert is in range, but he needs to stay focused and execute at the top of his game. Once I'm out of the water, the first thing I do is I have a glimpse at my uh, watch. And so if I know I'm swimming about 30 minutes, I know I have a good time. If I were to swim slower than expected, I would tell myself, you know, if I'm swimming this slow, other people are probably swimming as slow as where well. everybody's going slow. So not to panic because, uh, you know, there's only so much I can control and I have to stay at the moment and focus on the next task, which is to have a fast transition in T1 and then get ready on the bike. And my job is to, you know, follow my game plan, not to go crazy on the bike, but to maintain it to keep my heart rate as low as I can and to save it for the run. Biking is my uh, strongest sport among the three. 
and that is where I hope to do most catching up and to do most damage on my competitors. The cost in 70.3 Kuching it will be a hilly cost, which actually suits me because I train quite a lot of uh, hills in Malaysia and my uh, power to weight ratio is, uh, is good. So having a hilly course, I hope it will work to my strength and uh, hopefully my competitors, they won't be able to cope with such a hilly course. Yeah, the plan is to go as fast as I could. Probably I'm targeting around average 38 to 39 kilometers per hour. Rupert is averaging 37.5 kilometers per hour but his slip in speed has more to do with the course than his effort. The hills of Kujing will dish out just over 1,100 meters of climbing. Once I see the hills, I get very excited. I know, yeah, this is, this is my area. This is where I'm gonna push. But it's also important to keep in mind to not overexert myself because, you know, I might get too excited. I might push too hard. The key is to keep my heart rate at a slightly increase but not spike it up too much because that's going to take too much off of my energy if I, I spike up my heart rate. When I cycle on hill, I always overtake other guys and that gives me motivation that I'm doing very well. And on the downhill as well, um, my downhill skills are quite good and quite daring and I, I try to take the best lines, the fastest lines. But the hills aren't the only concern Rupert has for this course. Well, I'm a bit worried that because of the descents, because of the fast descents and the cornering, uh, I hope, you know, nothing bad happens. Uh, the other thing is a puncture. If there's a puncture, I might lose five to 10 minutes and that's probably my ticket to corner out of the window. I'm quite confident with my uh, fitness level going into this race, especially my bike fitness. So expectation will be about 2 hours, 25 minutes and faster. Rupert is on track to finish just under his target time and has moved up two spots in his age group to fourth, just on the cusp of a Kona qualifying spot. But with a 13.1 mile run still to go, anything is possible. Quest for Kona is presented by Cliff, the official sports nutrition partner of the Ironman North American Series. This is the first time Guizheng has hosted an Ironman 70.3 event here in China. For Malaysian Rupert Chen, things are going to plan. He has been climbing through the field on his bike and is now in fourth place in his age group. If Rupert can climb just one spot, he will qualify for the Ironman World Championship. But Rupert's first challenge is getting through transition two and out on the run. So in T2, I will dismount. Then I have to uh, run towards my bike rack and then have to slot in my bike. Then quickly run into a transition to grab my uh, T2 bag. And then I will take off my helmet and then I will put on my socks and run shoes and my sunglasses and my visor and uh, take maybe two or three gels and uh, out to the run course. So on T2, it's gonna be frantic, it's gonna be fast, it's gonna be, it's gonna be exciting. Rupert is currently running in fourth place within his age group. If he can make just one pass on the run, a spot to Kona is his. So the run has uh, always been my weakest of the three spots. I've always been able to run strong, but it's just my natural running speed has not been high. I, I can run at that pace for quite some time, but it's not fast enough to be among the top. That has traditionally been the problem, and the other one is says my form will go off after a while because I'm just too tired and my, my core strength is not strong enough to hold up a good form. So hopefully with this strength training, I am able to hold a very good form and run stronger than before. For this run, I hope to be able to run uh, one hour, 35 minutes or faster to realistically to stand a chance to qualify for corner, but 
it's gonna be tough. You know, the guys are gonna be very strong, and uh, after the hilly bike ride, my legs are gonna be quite tired because I'm gonna push on the red zone most of the time. That's the risk I'm willing to take. Just don't give up. Rupert is focused and steady, but the hills of Guizheng have taken a toll on his speed. Rupert has slid back to sixth position in his age group. Just before I enter into the finishing line, normally I can hear the sounds, the crowd sounds. It goes like boom, boom, boom. It's very, very loud. And you know, whatever fatigue that I have, you know, I've been racing for many, many hours, we have suddenly goes off. <laughs> suddenly you don't feel tired, and suddenly I can start sprinting again. It's really magical. Oh, the feeling is, uh, I can't describe it. You have to experience it yourself. Rupert finishes in a time of 4.46.19 and is hopeful it's good enough for a Kona spot. It's what I've been working forward to the whole time I'm training. It's, it makes the whole sacrifice of training, waking up early, uh, waxing my leg, going to the physio, everything worth it. When I finish, I <laughs> just think of uh, you know the, 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 the happiness that of accomplishment the uh, you know making everything worthwhile the happiness at that time how everything was worth it uh, Kona is later on when I check on the result whether I'm in a, you know whether I'm in the podium slot or not oh that's tough tough Hi, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. not enough oxygen Are you get it Huh? Are you getting it? No, I don't think so. Rupert finishes in seventh place within his age group. Only the top three finishers qualify for Kona, leaving Rupert just out of range for punching his ticket to the World Championship in Hawaii this October. Ironman for me is already a lifestyle for me. It's something that I, I do because I'm just so passionate about it and it's, uh, it's something that you know, keeps me healthy, keeps me happy. And, you know, irregardless of the results, I will still continue to do what I'm doing at the moment because, you know, it's just something that I really love and I'm passionate about.